The Icelandic Meteorological Office has published the latest update. Uh, most of it is what I've already covered, so I'll just add a video at the end of it. So there is a few charts that I explained. The first one shows the number of the earthquakes per day. As you can see, as the days goes on, we have a, a number of earthquakes increased since the eruption in the uh, March 16. And as you can see here, the uh, trend is actually going down because this volcano is dying down. We have two clusters of the earth, of these earthquakes. One is near the Sorsengi, that is where the eruption is happening, we can call it magmatic. And the second one is concentrated around the uh, town of the Grindavik, that we can call it tectonic. And it makes sense because this is the boundary of the Americas and Eurasia, uh, where is exactly on the eruption site. Uh, away from it in the Grindavik, we don't have that uh, magmatic eruptions. The next chart shows the magnitude of the earthquake. You see some of them have a magne um, negative magnitude. These are not really negative. The scale is logarithmic, so whatever is below zero is considered negative. These are earthquakes which actually uh, is not felt by the human beings. They are explained in this little uh, snippet of the page from the uh, Geological uh, Society of the London. These are the earthquakes which are not felt by the people, as I mentioned. Anything um, lower than the 0 0.4 micrometers is considered as magnitude 1. I will bring now the update that I made before the release of the update by IMO, and this is covering all that I want. The latest eruption in the Reckonance Peninsula seems is over. It's just a few glimpses of the lava we can see glowing through the dark as you can see here. And these are what all we will see for a few days, then probably it will extinguish. But already we have 40 mega or million tons of magma, that is 13 million cubic meters of magma under the Swatsengi waiting to erupt. This is the latest uh, diagram showing the accumulation of the magma in the Swatsengi volcanic system. The threshold for us is 15 cubic, uh, million cubic meters. And I think in 10 days or two weeks at the most, we will see a new eruption either through this existing vent, which is the ready available one, or through a new eruption. The land is rising, continuation of the land rise. You can see it even in this, you know, GPS data we have visualized for you in 3D. And the steep rise of it is yet evidence for that the magma is accumulating in the shallower source under the Swartzengi, where it is already erupted three times before this. And the latest one either can be in this similar way. This is the fourth eruption. We are seeing it again from the beginning. A north fissure and south fissure erupting, then the ma lava moving in a flow toward the town of the Grindovic. This is the scenario which is a scary because this time we already have the lava tubes ready there in may flow. This is the initial phase, which is the most dangerous phase now. This is according to the Icelandic Meteorological Office. We know that this proximal pyroclastic mantle, it just was limited to around where it was the, near the cone of the volcano. Any spillover like this one was limited to that. But we are seeing that already the construction work around the Green Dawick is started. This is the caterpillar effect. This shows, it shows the shifts of the workers working to build the new defense walls. And that shows the time that they turn machinery over and turn it off and pass it to the next shift. The work is continuing now, day and night, as you saw in the diagram. That's a tremor chart that shows us how they're working. And we see the new wall will be built inside the old wall. And higher, more than 8 meters, we have to build it down. down. And that shows the serious threat that Grindavik is facing. We already had an eruption. The magma has reached almost the critical limit for eruption. And already parts of the wall are breached by the smaller tongues of lava. We are going to have a bigger one, most likely, in a few days' time.